your latest vinyl yeah. is an avocado. Yeah. Can we see this? Do you yeah, have an yeah. avocado to show us? It's because we're like hardcore vegans. Okay. That was my question. Well, these two are. Two of us. <laughs> <laughs> see the, so, doing the tofu tattoo here? I, I noticed that? tofu. You want to see the tofu? <laughs> <laughs> tofu. Oh, well, there you go, mate. We go. And do you have a oh, yeah, satian or? I've got a vegan oh, certified. Oh, yeah. We will get there. <laughs> <laughs> that was from um, MPF last year. Our mate Jim Bob took that one. Um, Jim Bob of uh, Pizza Tramp. Oh, yeah, um, no, he no, he broke he broke his leg dancing to Cindy Lauper, so that's why it's in a cast. I did actually break my leg to Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper dancing. But if you turn it upside down, it kind of looks like I'm flying, which I can't. It looks like a Jamiroquai video. It looks like Jamiroquai. Yes, it does. <laughs> so it's inspired by so many things Jamiroquai, avocados, <laughs> broken legs. It just turns out to be Jamiroquai. I play it backwards. Yeah, if you play it backwards, it's just, it's just, it's just a Jamiroquai album. That's all it is. <laughs> Manchester Punk Festival. Hello. Hello. What have been your highlights of the festival this year? Uh, well, I've seen quite a few decent bands. I think uh, Wolf Beast Destroyer. They were amazing. Yeah, it was a real highlight for me, you know, so far. But um, I'm looking forward to the cat, you know, the K A D T. Oh, yes. Long, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, not be not, it may not be as big. A band, there's some other bands here, but I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Yeah, yeah. And 
your highlight of the entire weekend so far? Ah, just the entire festival, you know. It's just the atmosphere, you know, meeting people, socializing, you know, me, you know, seeing a lot of friends and yeah, it's been fantastic really. Well, I'm sure we'll see you crowd surfing at some point. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, what's happening? <laughs> this is what this is. Man, I know this is like a wild show. I had to do. I had to mark the beer. Mind your beer, alright. No, 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 no. Just to be like, I gotta drug myself. <laughs> if nobody's gonna do it, man, I'm gonna be the earliest guy on acid in this place. Yeah, yeah like, oh, let's tell jokes as the audience turns into elephants. <laughs> <laughs> you the one I used to send mind your Is that not me? I did say drink, I said mind it. Oh, I wasn't even full. Oh, oh did I make him sad? Guys, let's all buy him a beer. Uh, oh, I'll get you one. It was a ploy. It was a ploy? It was a ploy for all of us to buy him his beer. Oh, is that what you guys do? Where you just leave beers hidden for comedians to drink it? And they're like, oh, can everybody buy me a beer? Yes, that's what we do here. <laughs> okay, do you want me to get you one, dude? Yeah, we'll get you a beer. Don't have to Oh, well, I'm not going to get you a beer if you don't watch my set. <laughs> no, no, go for, your, go for your cigarette. Don't get out of here. Okay, well, you can't just have your back to me the whole time. Are you shunning me? Uh, it's not a bird. Shunning? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for the group effort here, guys. I'm like, I don't know what this is. What do you mean? Is this a riddle? Do you just hang out under bridges in Manchester and just be like, hmm, you drank my beer, answer my... The drugs don't work. Oh. That's a plus. That's a plus? Yeah. Yeah, good, all right. I was afraid that it's already kicked in. Man, this isn't even the weirdest show. I, had, I did the Edinburgh Fringe, and I do like the free fringe, which means like you have to be funny and people give you money at the end of the show. And I was in my third last show this year, and I was about to hit my last joke, right? Trying to make it funny so I get paid. And a guy in the front row goes, that's not funny. And I snapped, and I don't know why I said this. I was just so exhausted, out of my mouth, I just go, I'm gonna put my balls in your face. <laughs> and then I instantly apologize, I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna do that, but at the end of the show, you gotta put 20 quid in the bucket. And he goes, no. And then his buddy sitting next to him goes, I'll give you 20 quid if you put your balls on his face. <laughs> And then the entire crowd is like, fuck it, do it! And I was like, I don't handle peer pressure very well. Right, and now I'm looking at him being like, like, I don't, like, I don't know what to do. I'm looking for him to be like, no, don't do it. But all I see is like, bring it on. So I like saunter over and you can't just whip a full dick out in an audience. Nobody wants to see that. Right, my ears. <laughs> Nobody wants that. You can't just whip your dick out of your arm like a smiley and be like, anybody fancy a glass? To 1988 Caucasian Canadian. <laughs> so instead I pulled out one nut. Like I pulled my hand in a cup of bubble tea and pulled out one tapioca ball. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's just oh, nuts. Wow. And I just held it. Look, I held it in front of this guy and I'm looking at him and, I, and I've never administered this in public before. Like I don't know, do I treat him like a European relative and just mwah, mwah, both cheeks? <laughs> Right away, like a judge, like, order of the court, order of the court! Instead, I just kind of stamped it there, it's just like, return to sender, heckler! I wish I said that, instead I was like, my 20 quid, please? <laughs> oh, man. I know I seem cut off, right? Look, this is like an embarrassing thing to admit to a room full of fucking heavily tattooed people. I got a tattoo that I didn't want to get. Right, like, you have, like, tattoo artist friends, right? Oh, shit, man. Dude, I made 
friends with a guy in like in Australia, and I was like, hey man, maybe you can tattoo me sometime. And he goes, I got a cancellation tomorrow, and I was like, that's too soon. <laughs> and he's like, what do you like? And I blanked him, like, I don't know, man, like hands, pencils. He's like, cool, see you tomorrow. And I was like, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> Right, and I showed up the next day and he showed me the design. I'm like, I, I don't like that, but I didn't have the confidence to tell another human being their art sucks. So instead, I got a tattoo for life. Right, like, I thought it was going to be free. I thought he was going to hook me up $180. Right, halfway through, he said that. You got to open with it. Start my life, man. Do you guys want to see the tattoo? Yeah. I know I walked in and I'm like, yo, man, can we, like, manicure the witch nails? Is it still there? Okay, because you guys all just didn't emote. You just kind of like, ugh. Usually you're like, oh god. Like, right, I'm like, can we manicure the witch nails? She's like, no. I'm like, can we sharpen the pencil? Like, whatever to do to make it smaller? Like, do you guys know what that dot is? Yeah, me neither. I asked him, like, yo, man, what's wrong with like. I'm like, what does that dot mean? He's like, oh, fucking use your imagination. And you don't just say that to somebody getting a tattoo for life. Right, and now when I show people, people don't know that I don't like the tattoos so they pretend to like it. Right, kind of like, you're like, oh, it's not bad. It's like I had an ugly baby and I'm just showing people my baby. Like, oh, I like what you did with the wrinkles. But they're like, Evan, oh, what does it mean to you? What does a tattoo symbolize? I'm like, oh, it's my grandmother's hand. She just loved balancing pencils on the top of her hand. I don't know why the fuck it's on the top.